What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, we've got some truly tragic news right now, 100%. IFL TV have leaked this Fury vs. Ngannou announcement imminent. Wow. Ariel Helwani, who's basically the big dog in the MMA world, is reporting Tyson Fury vs. Francis Buff Anu. <laughs> Buff Ganu, sorry. Let me start again. Ariel Helwani is reporting that Tyson Fury vs. Francis Buff Ganu. Is set to be announced very soon. Come on, stop it, Coogan. Stop it, Shilligan. Just for one, just for one minute, yeah. Who wins and how? Are these guys having a laugh. Who wins and how? Tyson Fury gonna box this guy's head off. There's no absolutely no chance. No chance at all. Yeah. This guy can't even box with the MMA fighters. He rolling on the floor. Do you get that? That's how much confidence Ngannou has in his paws. Yeah, he rolling on the floor. 100%. Breaking news. Tyson Fury is very soon. Sorry. Is expected to be announced very soon. According to combat sports journalist. Ariel Helwani. Now. I've been saying this for the last few days. Not because I've got it from anywhere. 100% deep sources. But because Frank Warren came out and said. Oh what we got coming is record breaking. Or ground breaking. That is. The code word for an absolute abomination. Yeah. You see that one there. 100%. An absolute abomination. Because if it was that big, it'd be the Usyk fight. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Instead, Usyk's fighting Dubois, and Frank Warren's talking about, Dubois is going to knock this guy out, knock that guy out. Dubois only ever knocked out bums, Frank. That's the truth. The first man that was half alive in there, he, he, he went out on his on his knees. That's just called a spare spade here. I'm trying to think, who else did Dubois beat? No, nah, he beat Trevor Bowman, but he's a bum, useless. Yeah, I think I lost money on Trevor Bumman as well. <laughs> Not a lot, but some little coins. I got gas. This goofy ass dude, man. These American guys who come over and talk too much. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is this is why the sports falling off in the UK. Truth be known, yeah, the sport is down bad. The sport's dying. It's simple as that. Literally, we, we're watching it, and I'm hearing as well. Specifically to this announcement, it's going to be an exhibition, people. Do you understand that? It's not even going to be an actual boxing fight where you can knock people down. It's going to be an exhibition. I was saying, and I still agree, if this fight was going to be a 12 round boxing fight with four rounds UFC gloves on, it might not make a scrap of difference. But I can get behind that. I'd say, listen, man. Because I believe my uh, my ideology is that four ounce gloves make you exponentially more dangerous. Every punch, I mean, n number one from a defensive point of view, boxing gloves are so big. No, they're not. But yeah, boxing gloves are so big compared to four ounce gloves. You can tuck up and weather the storm. Think about fights like Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence, or. You know what I mean? There's loads of examples where if you want to, just stay safe and clench your butt cheeks. You can do that. I've never seen that in the UFC. I've never seen someone standing there covered up and the shots are going straight through the middle. They're coming around the side. There's nowhere to hide it in the four-ounce gloves. And I've been saying for a while, regardless of this clown show, Fury vs. Ngannou, sorry, Fury vs. Buff Ngannou, they should be bringing in boxing needs to innovate. I think we see less damage in the UFC as well, in terms of boxing, every other, or every few, or every, once a year or whatever, someone's getting completely, their head punched in, and they're, they're sick, kind of thing, now UFC's been around for 25 years, and them guys are, they fight much more active than boxers, and I haven't heard yet, of a UFC fighter with, um, who's been, think about Adonis Stevenson, young ones, yeah, Michael Watson, I don't know all the others one. Even Nick Blackwell. You don't even hear of the Nick Blackwell ones. Do you understand? And I believe it's because you're out quickly. You get put out quickly. In boxing gloves, it's almost like death by a thousand blows. There's nothing that's... You can't generate enough sting with 10-ounce gloves on to just get it done in one. So it's again and again and again and again and again and again. Especially if you can't punch. Which most people... Well, yeah. I, I don't know. Let's forget about that. But my point is, in Garnu in four ounce gloves, I can at least start speculating. Well, Fury won't. Fury's gonna have to get used to 
having small... And it can work... Listen, it can work the other way as well, where Tyson Fury... Because we haven't seen a boxer in four-ounce gloves yet. Look at McGregor. McGregor was smoking dudes with four-ounce gloves. He put boxing gloves on, and Floyd was laughing at him. Floyd's really never laughed at no one. He respected everyone. He laughed at McGregor, walked him down. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like That's what... I, that's what boxing and four ounce gloves can do. So it could be the case, Fury goes in there and he's just punching like a mule. Either way, that's what I want to see. I want to see something devastating. I want to see Ngarno go in there, have, have a few rounds with them little, little gloves on and see if he can whack something through. See if his big buff ass can get something through one of them gaps. But essentially what we're seeing here is, and also what I've just explained is almost like a hybrid fight, a mini hybrid fight. Fury's got things to think about. Ngannou's obviously got a lot of things to think about going into boxing. As it stands currently, it's all in Tyson Fury's favour. Tyson Fury has his normal gloves on. Ngannou's got to get used to these big pillar gloves, which I haven't seen. I haven't seen one UFC fighter pull off the, the 4 ounce to 10 ounce transition. Not once. Not that they're always doing boxing fights, but I'm sure other people... I'm trying to think of an example. I don't know, but listen, Tate McTapper. Yeah, he... he no good. And McTapper's in the UFC, or at that time at least, was one of the most precision strikers in there. Do you understand? So if he can't, if he's looking useless, what chance anyone else got? And besides, forget all that. End of the day, man. Ngannou has no chance in 10-ounce gloves. That's a fact. No chance. No chance at all. I, I, I see no chance. Yeah? Listen. Well, maybe I'm just gassed, but I'd back Ngannou to beat Dillian White for what he's worth, the fake Yardi. Probably I'm wrong, but still, would I put money on it? No, because I'm, <laughs> I'm not losing no more money to the bookies, man. <laughs> I've been bumped too many times, but I, I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm probably delusional, but surely Ngannou can have a better go than Dillian. You'd like to think, wouldn't you? He's bigger, but that don't mean nothing, does it? I, I don't know. People, truth is... I'm hoping it's not true, but most likely it's true. This is where everyone's been hinting. And that's the way it's going. And it's again, it's an exhibition, people. It's not even... After Saturday has spent 10 minutes talking about the UFC gloves, forget about that. It's not even Tyson Fury and his own rules. They're stepping out of that. And no doubt they're going to charge 30 bucks for this. Or uh, I reckon they might even charge 20 and make out of doing us a favour. Dillian White versus AJ's at £27. We're doing this at 20 Eddie Hearn's robbing the fans. That's what I think probably. That's the narrative probably coming. As if this shouldn't even be on for free. Truth be known. It just shouldn't be on. Simple as that. Yeah? He should have been stripped and let the sport move on. No one's saying he can't fight clowns. No one's saying he can't do clown shows. And that's what, like, Floyd. Look at Floyd. Floyd's made, making a career of fighting clowns. Yeah, that's his prerogative to do that. And guess what? There's no one in the stadiums. No one shows up to watch it. There's a whole bunch of empty seats. And <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's how. That's hundred percent. But Tyson Fury, because of his connections with Kinahan, Dan the Man, yeah, has been able to touch the WBC president, and he just fall into line. Literally tripping over his heels, trying to make. Um, Trying to essentially suck him off, suck Tyson Fury off by any means necessary. Listen, forget about Malcolm X yet. Mauricio Suleiman, he's the original. I will suck Tyson Fury off by absolutely any means necessary. Yeah? By any means. Yeah? Mauricio Suleiman is out there protesting for the right, not for what they call it, for the civil right. Yeah, listen, Mauricio Suleiman's out there. In Mexico, protesting for the civil right to stay sucking Tyson Fury off. He wants to earn that right. He wants that right to be passed into law. I will forevermore stay sucking this guy off. I love it. Please, we must march. And you best believe it. the banners are coming soon. Yeah? Mauricio believes he has, he's been ordained by God to stay. Do you understand that? Call me a liar. And if he ain't, show me what he's done to, to say otherwise. Oops. 100%. He is a civil rights activist. Yeah. He is civil right, he's a civil rights activist by any means necessary. He stays sucking. 100%. Anyway. No one wins as it's an exhibition. Yeah, shocking. 
who plays who pays for that clown show well unfortunately i've been saying this for years not just about exhibitions but people who pay for it that's just what it is people will pay the heavyweight division is garbage another fight no one wants to see this is nothing but trash what a shame could have been a golden age yep i can't even say this but no one will fight each other it's not no one it's tyson fury i'm sorry it's not AJ's just proven Silent Dillon might fight. And yet AJ fell off. But still, the one guy who's been consistent, regardless if, if he's lost his head or not, is AJ. He wanted... AJ lost the Ruiz fight, part of the reason he was trying to get Wilder and, and Fury in the ring. Yeah? That's just how it went. So AJ's about it. Usyk's about it. Joe Joyce is about it. Zhang's about it. Um, Dillian White... I think Yardy. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? No, but to be fair, who else Who else is there? Um, there's someone else. You sick. Wilder. Wilder was a bit corny, but he got his head punched in, and, and he's kind of come round to it now. Do you understand? So, yeah, if anyone, Tyson Fury is number one to blame. And then Wilder was to blame in the early years. In 2017, there's no doubt about it, Tyson Fury decided to fight... Um, Usyk, sorry, Fury rather than AJ. At the time, Fury had no relevance. Ask yourselves why. There was more money on the table for the AJ fight. Either, anyway, I've digressed here. The only two people you can blame over the last half decade for fights not happening is pr primarily Fury in the last three years and before that, from 2017 to 2020, it was Wilder and now it's Fury. It seems to be the WBC curse. Whoever has that belt just want to stay fighting random fights. Um, anyway, I won't carry on rambling. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this is all fake news, but we'll see. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and like off the bell 100%. No doubt.